Hello everyone, I am Ekta Sharma, Assistant Professor, Piani Group of Colleges. I welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver a lecture upon a C++ topic which is a very popular topic and the name is Classes in C++. As you all know that C++ is the extension of language C but there are classes are missing. So we have classes featured in C++ which makes us different from C only. Now let us understand how this classes function is works. Now first of all we will discuss the syntax now. This is class, this last thing is a keyword, keyword is a reserve word, this last word is reserved in C++. This is class name, this will be given by the user only, whatever class name you want to give like student, employee, you can give over here only. Now we need to start the curly braces over here, then this private, as you can see this private is the scope of the variable. Now scope of the, of the variable means where and why you, uh, why you can access this variable and how. Now first of all data member, now as we have already learned in main function we give int a which is the variable. Now whenever you give variable in C uh, in classes yeah, you will call it data members as you call uh, variables in main function. Now second uh, scope is public as the private members are not accessible outside the class uh, from the other classes here public this public function can be accessed by the other class members by the other classes. Now member function, member functions are the simple function which are the part of C++ classes uh, feature. Now you will end it with one curly basis and you need to uh, mark one semicolon over here. Now let us uh, have an example and let, uh, then we will understand how this works. First of all we have already mentioned the keyword class over here, then we have put the name of the class that is EMP only. We have started with the curly braces as you can see over here. Now we have taken one int that is the data type, then one salary, this is the variable. We will not call it variable over here, we will call it as a data member. Now we have not specify any other uh, scope of this variable. So by default whenever you do not give the scope of the variable it becomes private only. So we can say this cell is actually a private data member as you can see over here. Then this is the character array. The name of the character array is nm and the value is 30 here. Now the next scope of the variable is public. We have, uh, here we are mentioning this member function which will be called by the objects of the same class. Now in this we have made one function void set in which we are setting the value of salary. First user will enter the value of salary and it will be stored in the sal variable over here only. Then we have made one more function which is the display function. Here we will display the salary. Now let us see how we can call this. We need to main one, uh, we need to make one made function over here. Here we are specifying emp, this is the class name and this e is the name of the object. We can ma make as many object of any class as you want. Now e dot set, this e object will call this set function to set the value of this salary. Now here e dot display, this e object will display whatever value user have set over here, it will display the value from here only and here the get ch which will uh, make the end of the program. Thank you very much for listening to me and for more educational detail and other videos you can of course visit to our website that is www.gurukpo.com.